Kanyana is a wildlife rehabilitation centre that was originally started in the 1960s by June and Lloyd Butcher. This was started in their home in Gooseberry Hill, however we've since outgrown this location and we've moved here to Les Murdy. So our current address is 120 Gilchrist Road and we're open 365 days a year for wildlife admissions. Wildlife rehabilitation is the heart of Kanyana. This is the reason why we initially started. Some of the main reasons animals come to us are cat and dog attacks, car vehicle strikes, and also orphans. So when they come through the door, we're assessing them, treating what they need treated, and then we're looking at their plan all the way through to release. If they are a baby, we are raising them up until they're an adult weight, and then we're doing what's called a soft release, where we're back feeding and making sure they know how to find their food before we do release them properly. Any other adults that come in, if they just have an injury, we wait till their injuries are all healed, and then we're releasing them back to their territory. Over the years, Kanyan has also developed education programs. Now, some of these are done on site, things like our day tours and also our nocturnal tours, where people come in the evening and see our animals running around at night. Most Australian animals are nocturnal so this is a great time to come and visit. We also do tours off-site at schools and other groups and programs and all of this really helps because it helps to educate the public about our native wildlife as well as getting some funding which helps to keep our rehabilitation hospital up and running. Along with many other things that Kanyana does here at the centre, we are also a part of endangered species breeding programs. We currently have two of these running on site, one for the bilbies and one for the woilies which are also known as a brush tail betong. We're very, very happy to say that with our woilies, we are actually breeding them for release and they are released at predator-proof centres, areas like Perup and also at Whiteman Park. Volunteering to me means actually doing something that feels like I can make a difference, it's rewarding. I study zoology at UWM part way through my masters, so coming here I took a year off uni and I feel like I actually make a difference now and just feel so good actually doing something like that. I perform a range of jobs around Kenyana. I actually volunteer here Tuesday and Friday mornings. So mainly I work in the hospital. That could be anything between feeding birds, cleaning hot boxes and cages and things. We've got resident animals down here that are used for the education team. And so they need to be fed and cleaned and everything. We have to weigh birds every day in the hospital. If they're, you know, if they're getting fed but they're not gaining weight, then there's obviously an issue there that someone needs to be checked at. We send about five animals a day to the vet, so we just have a priority list that what needs the vet to check over the most. I volunteer at Kenyana two days a week, every week. So I do Tuesday and Friday mornings. That's usually about a four and a half hour shift from eight to 12.30 on each of those days, though on Fridays because I supervise, I'm usually here a lot longer. There's many different ways that people can get involved at Kenyana. We've got an education team, so people if they're interested in doing that like if you're doing a teaching degree or something you could always volunteer here and show kids around down at our discovery center. We've also got a transport team some animals need to go back and forth from the airport and places like that and yeah there's just something for everyone. Kenyana treats about 50 animals a week. From that a large proportion will be the very common species that we see around. So for birds that would be magpies, for reptiles that would be bobtails. For mammals we see a lot of possums and bandicoots. Over the year we'll do about two and a half thousand animals altogether. The animals we get here at Kanyana come from a wide variety of places. For instance, in the local area, most of the animals will come from people's gardens or in the bush. By far, the most will come from either a motor vehicle accident or a dog or a cat attack. We also get quite a few animals that are fly in, fly out from mine sites. Usually they're birds or perhaps some mammals. And then we get a lot of birds that will be pets that people have had that have escaped. So they come into us and we pick them back up and look for their home if we can. So there's a wide range of injuries that we deal with here at Kanyana. For instance, with the bobtails, it's quite often either motor vehicle accidents, so they'll be crushing injuries or internal injuries. However, if they have bobtail flu, then we use special treatments that were devised here at Kanyana, and that's nebulisation and antibiotic treatments and supportive treatment over a few weeks. So that's something specifically that Kanyana put together for these animals. For animals that are displaced or babies, usually they will have some internal injuries. Most of the time it's antibiotics or pain medication and long periods of supportive treatment just so that the animal can get itself back on its feet. And the most important thing that everybody gets 
um, treated with is rehydration because every animal that comes here is usually always dehydrated so that's one of the most important parts of their treatment. If the public finds an injured animal the best and most important thing to do is make sure that you're safe first. So pull the car off the side of the road and make sure that you have safe conditions to look at the animal. The next thing you need to do is find a blanket, a towel, a t-shirt or something that you can use to cover the animal and some kind of box or container that you can put the animal in and keep it safe until you get to Kenyana. Then pick up the animal very carefully, put it in the box and keep it secure until you get here, making sure that you don't have the radio in the car, that the children aren't making a lot of noise and that the pets don't get anywhere near it. When you get to Kenyana, we will put you through a normal admission, the same as if you were to take someone to a hospital. And the most important things we need to know is where you find the animal, what time you found the animal, and what the conditions were, what you saw that may have happened to the animal. From there, we will do the best. You don't need to give the animal any fluids or any foods. All you need to do is make sure that it's quiet and dark and warm and get it to Kenyana, and we will do our best and get that animal back out again. Kenyana runs heavily on donations. The way that Publi can help us is to donate money, they can donate the items from our wish list, and they can even do some fundraising for us. Another way that Publi can help us, we are volunteer run, so Publi can come here and actually become a volunteer themselves. We are holding information evenings every two months at this stage. It's an evening session, and you're more than welcome to join us at any time. Just call our admin on 9291 3900 at any time, and we'd love to have you come and volunteer with us. Thank <laughs> you.